All right, this video is gonna be about how to remove the grenade launcher attachment on a Yugo SKS. So let me go ahead and get a better camera angle for you. Here's the grenade launcher. There's a pin on the bottom side here that goes through. And there's a second pin here. You can remove this pin if you wanna remove this whole section here. But if you wanna be able to use the um, 14 by one right hand threads, you wanna push out this pin here. This pin is really, really hard to get out. I would suggest um, heating up this area a little bit, not a whole lot, because you really don't want to mess it up. You just want to try to loosen it up a little bit. And then you're going to want to use a starter punch like this to uh, get it moving. And it is hard. It is very, very difficult. The pin is hardened tool steel, so you cannot drill through it. You're going to have to take it out. Um, so I've been working on this one here for a little bit. I wanted to get a good idea of what all was going to be involved in removing this thing before I started the video. Um, because I didn't know if it was going to go like I planned and then I would just look stupid on camera. So anyway, just so you guys know, when you're removing this grenade launcher attachment, it's going to get damaged. Uh, but we don't really care about that because, um, we want to get rid of it. So you're going to have to use a pipe wrench to get it off. Um, anyway, heat up the pin, or heat up this area with a torch. Then you can use a little bit of uh, croil, which is my go-to right here, arrow croil. Stuff is the bomb, way better than any kind of PB blaster or anything like that. Soak the area, depends on, you know, let it soak as long as you want. And then you're going to want to use your starter punch here. Once you've got it started, you can go back in uh, with a 330 seconds punch and that's the size that you're going to want to use. You can't go any bigger. Um, if you go smaller you're going to have problems with uh, the punch trying to bend. This punch even bent uh, quite a bit. Every time I would hit it it would bend and it was driving me crazy. So what I did was I found a little screw here and I ground down the threads so it was 330 seconds in diameter. I put it just like this and then I used a C-clamp here just like that to push that pin the rest of the way out. There's a bunch of different ways that you can do this, um, but this is how we're gonna do it here. So I've already got the pin out a good way. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can, see if we can finish it off here. Let's see, stupid punch. That's what keeps happening. I think I'm gonna grind one of the edges here. All right, there we go. Let's see if that'll help us finish it out. All right, there it is. There's that little guy. I had uh, driven this punch out here, or this pin out here a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in place because we're gonna leave this for now. All right. And then we can loosen up our clamps and put the barrel long ways on the bench here. I'm gonna see if, um, if these clamps are enough to hold the barrel. They may not be, and we may have to put it in the vise, but we'll see. Yeah, that's going to flex too much. So we're going to have to put this in the vise. I have a feeling it's going to be really tight. I'm going to go ahead and soak this area here uh, with some aerocroil. And once we got it soaking for a little bit, then we'll come back. All right, we got the gun lightly in a vise. And we're going to put some aerocroil here around the outside in this crack. And I am going to go have some dinner. So we'll let that soak in, come back from dinner, and see if we can break it loose. Okay, it's been three hours. Uh, I've been letting this uh, 
muzzle brake here or grenade launcher attachment soak while I was eating some dinner and uh, hopefully we're gonna break it loose I'm gonna use a pipe wrench here so let's give it a go I'm thinking that um, the threads are gonna be the same as an AK so we're actually gonna turn it to the right to loosen it so let's give it a try Um, let's see if we can rock it back this way to break it loose. I felt like it definitely moved a little bit. Whoa, look at that. Huh. I definitely did not expect uh, regular standard threads. That's pretty interesting. So this is not threaded like an AK-47. I guess I'm going to have to get on... Uh, get on the Google and see exactly what this thread pitch is. I'm thinking it's still probably going to be 14 millimeters. Um, but it's definitely not reverse threads like an AK is. So here's the grenade launcher attachment. It's pretty heavy. Looks like that croil got all down in these threads. So that did its job. I bet it would have been a whole lot harder if I didn't use that. Let's uh, reposition this camera here and take a look at the muzzle. And you can see I just have this in a, have the receiver in a vise with some little protectors on the jaws there. There's the muzzle. That's what it looks like. We can. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right. Well, I thought I had a spare uh, AK muzzle brake, but I don't. But you can definitely tell that these are not um, the same reverse threads that an AK has. There are a lot of threads on here. That is really long, though. And then down here at the bottom, you can see uh, where that pin goes through there. So I'll pick up a I'll pick up a muzzle brake. Um, and, uh, see if we have to end up cutting a little bit of these threads off to make it work, um, since they are so long here. I'm thinking the best way to mount a brake or something to this thing is probably going to be by using a jam nut. So, I'm going to find out what threads these are real quick here. I think, uh, my tap and die set should have that size. And we'll be able to tell what we're working with. Okay, so I got my thread pitch tool out, and it looks like the threads here are um, 14 by 1 right hand threads, which is just the opposite of an AK. So it's the same uh, pitch and thread pattern, just a different uh, different hand. So I don't know how hard it's going to be to find a muzzle device for this kind of thread. I'm going to have to look online and see what I can find. It's pretty interesting. I didn't expect that. Um, but here you go. Here's another look at the Yugo SKS with the grenade launcher attachment off.